Hi, welcome to Bigfoot Backpacking Gear Review. I'm Todd. And I'm Josh. And we're back to actually review the tent that I use. And I use the Big Agnes Copper Spur UL2. And I got this tent uh, last year and I've used it a few times and I really, really like it. It's been a, a great tent. I, I can't recommend a tent any more than this one. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the fact that there's so much room with this tent. Um, I like a lot of room when I go backpacking as far as my tent goes. And this tent gives that to me. It has the two vestibules that I really like um, because I like to put my backpack under my vestibule. Uh, not necessarily in my tent with me and I got nine square foot of total space under my vestibule so that is a real big thing for me. also have 29 square foot of floor area in this tent and I actually went with my wife last year and we both stayed in this tent. It was a little cramped but I'm not going to complain about it because I like this tent but it was a little cramped for two people so if you're looking at a, a two person tent you might want to go a little bit bigger than this one. Um, I like a lot of space. Yeah, with tent manufacturers, you know, you always have to go size up. I mean, you really so do. Yeah. yeah. UL2 is a one-person tent, yeah, really. Yeah, It really is, unless you want to take up every square ounce of the tent yeah. with your sleeping bags. I mean, we fit in there, and there was a little room head on the head and the toe side, but we were right on the edges, so um, it was no problem, but I would rather have a larger tent if I'm going to do this routinely with my wife. Yeah, because um, then you don't have room for anything else. Yeah, like you can leave your stuff. Or, it all has you know. to go in the vestibule or yeah. somewhere else, you know, so that's that's one thing about a UL2 is as far as this goes. It's a little small, but uh, not a, for yourself. By yourself, it's great. You have plenty of room to spread your, your backpack, clothes, whatever you want out inside of your tent. Um, another thing is the weight is it's not as light as the Flycrete um, that Todd has. But it is, it is a light tent. It's a little under four pounds, actually three pounds and seven ounces, and that's with the footprint. Yeah. Um, so, so it's not that bad. Three, three and a half pounds, roughly. Yeah, roughly yeah. three and a half pounds. And this is a more luxurious tent than the Fly Creek. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's, um, what's nice about the Copper Spur, too, is the sides are, are really not quite vertical, but, mm -hmm. but they're pretty close. Yeah. You know, whereas with the Fly Creek, it's really more it's you know, more of an A-frame. Yeah, know, like you, this, you, have, you have a lot more room in this tent. Yeah, the tent, the walls are, they like you said, they go straight up. I mean, almost yeah, vertically up. Yeah. And at the head of the tent, it's like, it's 42 inches of headroom. So I can yeah. sit up. And sit up fine in your sleeping comfortably. bag. And, yeah, yeah, sit up. You know, if I want to play cards or whatever in my tent, if it's raining, we have to stay in. Do you do that? I'm uh, not, but I'm saying if I had to, I, I could play we, cards. Yeah, I suppose that could happen. It could, you know, maybe. You It'd know. be cramped in the fly creek, but this one, yeah. This well, one. I could invite you over, maybe. Well, thank you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, again, like, like we were saying, there's plenty of room. I could invite my friend Todd over to maybe, you know, have some s'mores in the tent with me. But uh, the ventilation. I, I'm uncomfortable with that. <laughs> you know, I try, I try. <laughs> yeah. I try. Yeah. As Todd mentioned with his, with the, the, uh, his tent, the mesh, the entire tent, except for a few inches of the bottom, obviously, is mesh. So the ventilation is very good. Uh, I haven't had any con any issues with condensation. And again, if I wanted to take in a starry night, I could just keep the rain fly off, and I could enjoy the uh, stars above. But I haven't done that either because I like a little privacy. But um, the mesh is very nice as far as ventilation goes. Um, the two doors on either side is another bonus. Um, especially if you have two people, you could get on, get in and out on either side of the tent. Uh, also, another thing is, this is, tent is extremely easy to set up, and we'll be doing another uh, video to show you how easy it is to set this tent up and the uh, Fly Creek as well. Um, one person can easily set this tent up, and the way the poles are, the way they use these DAC poles, they're really lightweight uh, and very, very sturdy. But they have the hubs where you just put it in the hubs that collapse or connect on top of each other on the top and then on the sides and it just goes up so quickly. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. I mean, these tents practically put themselves up yeah. you know, compared to a less expensive tent um, that don't have the, the hub type system. And these are really, really awesome. Very, very much. Another thing about it is you can pack this tent up however you want. Um, we both like to keep our, our uh, poles separate from the uh, tent itself, yeah. with more room in the bag. The, the poles are actually one of the first things that I put in my tent, I mean my bag. I, yeah. I kind of put it vertically yeah. down on the side, you know, yeah. once you have your water and your, your pack. And, yeah, you know. they slide real easy right on the side of your bag, on the inside of your bag. And the tent, um, I, I like to roll it up, you know, like this, really small. I mean, I can get it smaller, but I like to roll it up small and shove it in the side or however, 
but you can pack it up, the, the tent, both of the tents pack up really, really nicely, small white, they save a lot of space. And uh, this tent, uh, I, like I said earlier, I couldn't recommend it anymore, I've been very pleased with it. The price, it could be a little steep, upwards, upwards of $400, uh, but you can find a sale every now and then, or, or, but I will say you get what you pay for, is, is, in my opinion, for this tent. I mean, yeah. it, it is a very good tent. This one is definitely more than the Flight Creek. I don't remember how much more, it was like 100 bucks more, or something like that. It's, it's, right. it's, it's a, it is a little more, I can't remember yeah. the exact price, but it is a little bit more. Yeah. But it's worth it. It really, I mean, it is, it's a more luxurious uh, tent. You've got a lot more room. So it well, depends what you want. Yeah, and like, like Todd said in the Fly Creek, we, we were trying to look for, I mean, we're not ultralight, obviously, but we, I'm not no. uh, into Hercules either. So we like to be a little more, we like to have comfort as well. So one of the things we had to do is decide what can we cut back on as, as far as weight. And the tent was one of the first things. It's, it's, it's an investment. But you save a, you save a couple pounds on on your tent, and you can pack another a better a better pillow or a chair or whatever it is you might want to bring to make it a little more creature comfort for you. So. And I probably would have gotten this tent if my sleeping bag didn't weigh so much. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. But the sleeping bag he got, he might review later. It's really nice. I will. So. I'll definitely review it. Yeah. So like like uh, like we said, you kind of you know, you have to choose on what you want to splurge as far as weight on and. And um, you can get a light tent like this and you know, get a little heavier, whatever, a sleeping bag and pad and stuff to make your night a little more comfortable. Yeah. Yep. So overall, this tent, um, I'm gonna give this tent the Bigfoot Backpacking Gear Review thumb of uh, approval. Um, thumbs up from Big, Bigfoot Backpacking Gear Review for this tent. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions about this tent or any other of the products that we've reviewed, um, go ahead and uh, uh, leave them in the comment section. Like our uh, page if you don't mind. And uh, we're going to have a lot of other reviews coming up here uh, within the, uh, the next month or so, so stay tuned. Thank Take you. care.